All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Cryptic Crossword for Tuesday, March 26th. It is set by Panga Kupu. Let's see what we have today. One across, almost entirely indifferent about hot drink. Well, just because I know hot can often be used as the letter H, I'm thinking it's going to be something around an H and it's going to be a drink. Uh, almost entirely indifferent. Maybe it's a word for indifferent. Nonchalant, um, casual, uh, something like that. But it doesn't finish. It's missing its last letter, maybe. And we put an H inside it to get a drink, but I'm, I'm just trying to approach it from a drink with an H. I think it would have to be TH, CH, SH. No, I'm not seeing it. A feature of space station bearing feature of door. Uh, so maybe it's just a sort of punning double definition, something on a space station that is also something you would see on a door. What do you have on a space station? Oh, you do have an airlock. Of course, a lock is a feature of a door. Oh, air could be a uh, bearing. So um, the airlock on a space station is the bearing and then a feature of a door. I like it. All right, let's try these downs. Lamenting, perverse, political stance. Ooh, could it be an anagram of lamenting? That is some political stance. I see we could have anti anti um then what's left over l m e another n and a g um why am i not seeing that no i'm not seeing anything there so maybe it's not anti i think the leftover letters are just two so maybe it is an ing Word political stance. Let's try the anagram helper and see. Maybe it's a long shot. Oh, it could be a something it, maybe. And again, that doesn't give us. Yeah, I think maybe we don't have enough vowels for it really to be an anagram of lamenting. No, political stance. I'm not seeing it, are you? You just be a little slow today. I felt like I was on my game yesterday, but I'm not feeling that way today. But that's how it goes. All right, let's move on. Ramble a bit. Article in memory or nothing in memory. Oh, um, I'm thinking of Rome, Rome if you want to, um, where it's either the letter A in Rom, which is one kind of memory, or nothing, the O in Ram, which is another kind of memory. So maybe Panga Kupu came up with both ways of defining it and thought, oh, why not put in both of them? All right, uh, give later instructions about deliveries on journey. Oh, what? Um, give lay. Oh, maybe something like override. Would that be to give new instructions that override the earlier ones? Oh, and deliveries is, uh, they love their cricket, of course, uh, an over 
is uh, six deliveries, right? And then journey could be to ride. All right, I think that's right. Important management group is a source of notes. Uh, well, the question mark tells me maybe it's not notes that you would see in an office, but a musical, uh, yes. And so uh, important is key. And the management group would be the board to give keyboard. Uh, good spirits from writer having change of heart. Uh, well, luckily we have the R and the O. I immediately think of Brio, which would be good spirits. Um, and it's a biro and you change, switch around the letters in its heart. All right. I feel like I'm getting somewhere now. Hesitation entering a U.S. city after smart tricks. So I think tricks is going to be the definition. Uh, hesitation is often er, er, um. I think, be, and, and but it, then it says that's going to go inside a U.S. city after a word for smart. Ah, yes, I have it. So I was just thinking, well, that A could be this A. Then the U.S. city in two letters would be New York. And the hesitation word in this case would be er. And if you're smart, you're chic, and we get chicanery tricks. All right, this is still looking like it might be an anagram, but uh, it's definitely not anti. Alignment. Oh, yes, I think that's right. Your political stance, how you're aligned. Ah, yes. Don't know why I didn't see that before. Uh, if you saw it earlier when I was using the anagram helper, I tip my hat to you. All right, wrong, engaging in vehicular sex in green belt. <laughs> That's the uh, perplexing clue. Wrong, a wrong could be a sin, maybe, that goes inside some phrase for vehicular sex in a green belt. Oh, I'm thinking because of vehicular, the obvious thing would be car. And I'm thinking something like a carbon green belt. Um, is there such a thing as a carbon ring? Is that a, a thing? <laughs> no, maybe not. But I'm just thinking it could be a carboning. Um, then how is wrong then would just be the letter R. Ooh, our carbon wing? I do not, I've never heard this phrase as far as I remember. Let me uh, check it. No, I didn't um, see anything there other than a carbon wing. Could be something you put on the back of a sports car. Carbon ring would be something you might wear. All right, let's try some of these downs and see if they support the carbon at least. Brief comment from person apprehended by a copper. Ah, yes, there is um, a French word, an aperçu, I think, that um, is some witty observation that you make. Um, 
So obviously A is A and copper is CU. Person apprehended, I think in this sense it means shortened apprehended. And so instead of being the full person, it's just PER. A lot of anger among most of selected singers. Oh, well, the first thing I'm thinking of with selected singers would be choirs. And I think it's right, but I think it's actually selected as part of the wordplay. So a lot of anger is IR, most of the word IR. And selected is chosen, so we just have C-H-O-S. Uh, it's a little loose, but um, I think it's right. Oh, so now um, alcohol, yes, comes to mind. So almost entirely is A-L. So it's almost all. And then indifferent is cool, which goes about hot, H, and we get our alcohol. All right, let's try this. Yeah, well, this will be a good one, of course, to uh, fill in that other letter, assuming the others are right. Spot threat to crops time to get away. I wonder if it's a... Yeah, maybe it's spot is the definition. Um, and then it's a threat to crops that contains a T and we take the T away. Uh, so locust would be the obvious threat to uh, crops. Take away the tea, you get a locus. So it's a spot as in a small location. So I don't think it's carbon... Um, carbon something. Green belt carbon something. Let's try running glory in race, starts to please, healthy character. Um, running almost sounds like we have to anagram glory, but then uh, race would only give us nine, starts to please as a P. So there's no H in that to get our starting H, healthy character. No, oh, maybe it means running or glory. Well, running can be on, as in your refrigerator is running, it's on. And glory in a race. healthy character. Hmm, I have no idea what that is. All right, let's try wear down recent royal elegy. Oh, maybe it's recent royal would be Elizabeth Regina ER. Oh, and an elegy, I suppose, could be an ode, and that means wear down. Ah, oh, so this is now H something E. H U E H Y E. Oh, oh, it could be um, H A E. I'm thinking of a hemoglobin. Is that right? How does this work? Running. Oh, no, no, it's not a hemoglobin. I'm a bit short on the letters, so. But it could be hemo something. Uh, but what would be the race? No, I'm not uh, 
not seeing it. All right, um, now let's go on to, uh, let's see, 14, here we go. Historic Impressionist version of exile in Italy. Um, well, exile in Italy does have 12 letters and version of could be an anagram, but we have a, a D and an R that are not in any of those words. So historic. Hmm. Impressionist version. No, I'm not um, seeing what that could be. Uh, first concern of slalom contestant. Um, well, <coughs> their concern is going downhill and turning, of course. Oh, what do they call the um, old flags they have to go either side of or in between? First concern. Maybe it is something turn. Something downturn? Why first concern? A concern, of course, can also be a company. Um, could it be a snow something? No. All right, how about fresh energy after indication of demise? I think uh, energy is usually E, so I think fresh will be the definition. And then we'll put an E after an indication of to O. RIP, of course, would be one indication somebody has passed on. Add the E and you get ripe. Finally, blue pencil, i.e. B underscore, D underscore, and worse, possibly. Well, I think that comes from um, marking up, editing, copy to um, see the things that are need to be um, censored. Oh, I suppose they used to use a blue pencil. Um, I'm trying to see if it could be an anagram. How do we get 10 letters? I mean, the I-E-B-D certainly seems like they should be part of the fodder. Worse would add five, and then maybe the last letter of blue pencil, whereas it could be the E, but I think it's going to be the L alone. And then possibly maybe, and maybe the whole thing is an and lit meaning some kind of, um, well, could it be something like swear words or, um, yes, I can see possibly having words from worse plus that D, then we would have L-I-E-B-E. -E. No, not seeing it. Studies having ignored one bog requiring return around a part of South Africa. Uh, so I presume it, the answer is a part of South Africa. Who is it? Uh, something like Eswatini? But the wordplay studies could be dens or conservatories. Oh, it could be um, study as a verb, crams. But having ignored one bog, oh, maybe just having ignored one bog, and then something requires a return around A, maybe. 
Mm, don't see it. Small force blocking river in retreat. Um, I think it might mean small. And it's going to be one of those little letters that represents a force. Um, jewels or... Uh, can P represent a force? And that goes inside a river that's written backwards. Four-letter river, maybe? No, I don't see it. Wonderful. Start to analysis. Our team then associated with mass and energy. Uh, could it be a word for wonderful? Maybe begins with an A. And then our team, that could be us. Um, I can only think of words like austere. Um, associated with mass and energy. May, I mean, those seem like we're going to have maybe an end with an M and an E. Unless the whole, the definition is associated with mass and energy. No, I don't get it. Shakespearean heroine, one failing to complete sea voyage mostly, Miranda ultimately. Well, Miranda ultimately suggests we're going to end with the letter A. And then this, the rest of the wordplay, one failing to complete sea voyage mostly. And it's going to be a Shakespearean heroine. Oh, could it be? Well, I'm thinking of Ophelia. But how is that one failing to complete sea voyage? No, I don't think it is Ophelia. I'll leave it in for now, but we'll check the downs. Still don't know what this running glory or healthy character is. Uh, study exposed with English blokes in bondage to achieve climax. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to mean climax. Um, study exposed. I don't know, does exposed have some wordplay meaning? Maybe you take the outer letters off or something. But something with English blokes. I think that might be E and lads or something like that but in bondage so the oh well ophelia may not be right in fact i'm thinking it's probably wrong so let's get rid of that chief climax the um oh my goodness the ending of something the conclusion Um, yeah, possibly, if I'm counting the letters right. I think study can be con. English blokes. No, I don't think so. In bondage, I don't see any bondage ties or something like that. Climax. No, I'll get rid of that. I do like the con beginning, though. Musical piece in examination. Stick 
around. I think it's going to be a musical piece, like an oratorio, oratorio, um, symphony, but nine letters. But I think there's going to be a word for examination, which could be test, trial, um, and then a word for a stick, like a rod that gets turned around, D-O-R. Can't think of any musical piece that ends in D-O-R. What other words for stick? Baton? No tab? No. Another musical piece to repeat in revised version. Ooh. Revised sounds like an anagram indicator, but version only has seven letters. Uh, what are terms for in music where you might go back and repeat a recapitulation or a, I think they just call them repeats too. Coda. Revised version. No. Investigation after error where books are kept. Ooh, so I presume it's going to be, first of all, a word for an error, then a word for an investigation. And it's going to mean where books are kept. Well, library is the obvious one, but it's not that. Um, it could be accounting related as well. Who are, of course, the Bible. No, I'm not seeing it. Appropriate or appropriate to turn up before end of French colonial meal. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm thinking appropriate or appropriate is going to be the definition to turn up. I mean, maybe the word T-O is reversed. Before end of French. Oh, so that could be the H. Well, what's colonial meal? Maybe it's just French colonial. No, I don't see that. Breach. Area in climbing in pursuit of that woman. So I think it ends in A because of uh, Miranda ultimately, but it may not. The only thing is that area is often represented by an A. I just, um, if the definition is breach, I think it seems unlikely it would end in an A. Area in, climbing in pursuit of that woman. Well, that woman is her. No, I don't see that. Line taken in skillful porcelain. Uh, first thought is that it could be a hidden in skillful porcelain, but I don't think we're going to have a five-letter word. Fulpo, fulpor. Um, but then possible line is often L, and could that be put inside a word for skillful? And it's going to mean a type of porcelain. I just can think of... China. Oh, maybe it's a word for skillful that has its L taken. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually more likely. So if it was China, then where is an L taken from skillful?
Uh, we do have in, wine taken in. No, I don't think that's right either. That's proving tough today. Unaccompanied, oops, but very much upset in this city. Well, I'm thinking of a city that's come up a few times recently, Oslo, which is an anagram of solo. I think that might be right. Oh, we're at the 30 minute mark, so I can start by my own rules. I just do this, I wait until 30 minutes before I start checking answers. That one is correct. All right. Can I think of a part of South Africa? Uh, I can't, to be honest. Now, could this be wonderful? Our team then associated I don't know what the then, unless it's just saying, you know, it's a sort of superfluous word to say after the A for analysis, we're going to have something for our team. And then associated with mass and energy. No, I'm not thinking of... Uh, say anything beginning with A and ending with O-N-E, that could mean wonderful. Oh, I can actually. Awesome. <laughs> yes. So uh, our team is we. Ah, and then then is actually doing something so. So instead of saying then in a sentence, you can in some context say so. Um, yes, and then the M and the E, although I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. Ooh, so this musical piece ends in an A, which is not surprising. A lot of those musical terms come from Italian or French. To, but to repeat in revised version, I'm wondering if it could be the same four letters repeated in the second half, just in a different order. But I don't know what that would be. Nope. And this one, we just, we just got a couple of E's at the end of these next two. Not very helpful. But where books... Oh, so let's think about what the error might be. Um, a howler, a, uh, a bug, a boo-boo. Would the P be part of that, or would that be the start of the investigation? A probe would be an investigation. But I can't think of anything ending in... Uh, probe where books are kept no I'm not uh, seeing it all right uh, 15 yeah this one ends in an e but the only thing is if I'm right about it, it's a word for examination followed by a stick that is reversed. Uh, of course, stick could also be adhere, but could that begin with an E? Oh, maybe, maybe it means stick around, and we put a musical piece inside a word for examination. I think I prefer my first interpretation, but uh, what would that be? No. All right, let's uh, take another gander at this. I have so many letters, you think it would be 
Oh, of course, the Khan is uh, just guessing. Um, oh, I am thinking of something Alexander would fit. Historic, impressionist version of exile in Italy. Yeah, I'm thinking, is there some Byron poem or something? Didn't he go into exile, but I think maybe in Greece? What would that be if it was Alexander, Sir Alexander? Hmm. And if it was Alexander having the X, maybe there is partial anagram, a version of exile. Ah, so maybe we do anagram exile and we put it in Italy. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, but if ex those letters of exile occur all together, it's not going to be Alexander. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, did I look at all of them? I think I did. Let me pause and uh, rehydrate and think about, there's some phrase, an obvious phrase I'm missing that is going to be carbon something for a green belt. No, I'm not finding anything. Let me get rid of uh, some of these letters that we don't know for sure. But yeah, I mean, the last second word, I'm wondering if it could be something sing, uh, to belt as in to sing. Um, but I can't think carols sing something sons. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this one. I think it may be a phrase I don't know. Ah, uh, carbon sink. I think I have heard of that, but not a phrase that I would have thought of. A car, even though I had the S in the end, I think I was just so uh, fixated on car boning. So what is it then? Vehicular is car. Sex always oh, bonk or boink. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, is that? Oh, it is bonk, and there is the sin. I even thought of sin earlier, and I never, when I saw the S and the N, I should have uh, realized that was right, and then just thought of what other letter other than G could come after it. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, at least we know now. Um, so this then must be some hemo... I think there's something called a hemotype or something. Uh, I think I will have a sneaky look and see what that might be. That's not uh, any kind of hemo. It is a hieroglyph, so it's a character. How does this work now? All right, we do have an anagram of glory in the middle, R-O-G-L-Y. And then we have the starts to please and healthy, the PH at the end. So, um, high and race, I think is to high. I think it's an old fashioned word, maybe pretty much obsolete at this stage to move quickly somewhere high. Wow, all right, so. In between the high and the uh, pH, we have the anagram of glory. My goodness, very complicated.
All right, so now historic. Uh, looks like going to be old, something or rather. Historic impressionist. It's not um, Mike Yarwood, anyway. Um, old. I'm going to put in old Alexander. <laughs> we'll see if that's <laughs> right. <laughs> No, but it is old something. Now I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. The old pretender. Ah, so I suppose historically somebody who pretended or did an impression of being the king. Is there a specific pretender who's known as the old pretender? But then what is the version of exile in Italy I don't see that at all so we'll have to look at 15 squared see what they say all right that gives us a nice uh, P for this musical piece in examination stick around um, Persistence is too long, but could it be something persist per? Oh, I do think um, examination, peruse, and we put something in the middle. Ah, it's not coming to me. Let's look at our first concern of slalom contestant now that we have a p for the second first concern main main something slalom contestant now let me pause and think about that one okay i thought of the word position and then I thought, oh, pole position. And I suppose that's what they call, well, the skiers use poles, but is that what they also call the um, ones they have to zig and zag around? So I think it, it should be read as first. So if you're first at the start of a race, you're in pole position. And then uh, a concern of a slalom contestant is their pole position. Now we have another good, ooh, how about operetta would be a musical piece. And it does have opera around the outside. Musical piece to repeat in revised version. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Let's go ahead and check it. It is correct, but I don't fully understand how to decode it. To repeat. Oh, it's an anagram of to repeat. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Simple as that. Yeah, I didn't uh, notice that to repeat has eight letters. Oh, my goodness. All right, this looks good now. The L and the P. Investigation after error where books are kept. What could error be if that comes first? A flop, blip, slip. Oh, how about... Um, I want to say slippage, but uh, that would not be an investigation after error. Oh, a slip case, maybe? Oh, yeah, an investigation is a case, and a book can be kept in a, well, a slip cover, I know. Do I know a slip case? Is that the same thing? I suppose it is. All right. Uh, oh, the Transvaal uh, is a part of South Africa that I do know. I think it's two A's. So let's see. Studies. Having ignored one bog. 
requiring return around ah the bog is the lav which returns around a um and one i think hmm not sure what one bog is having ignored one oh so studies is trains but we leave out an i and then we have our lav our bog backwards oh my goodness so now what is this musical piece in examination stick around postulate in examination yeah i am thinking it is going to mean stick around i'm going to go ahead and reveal this one pastoral Oh, so it is actually a musical piece. Um, I think the examination, oh, is oral. And stick goes around it. I was only thinking of reversing a word for stick. But you put a word for stick around the oral. And that word is paste. Oh, so tricky. All right, the top half is done. Now our um, censoring, finally, blue pencil, i.e. medium worse, possibly. Let's try the anagram helper and see if it could be the final L of blue pencil, the IE and the BD, and the worse. Oh, bowdlerize, ah, of course, <laughs> to uh, remove all the good bits from a uh, book. Um, am I going to spell it right? Bowdlerize, I think that's it. Let's check it. It is correct. Oh boy, that was a uh, tough one. Luckily, I think just when I uh, shuffle the letters, I saw the B and the W together, and that was enough to give it to me. Um, oh, no, I wanted to look at 23. Oh, Delf. Um, can be a Delft. Oh, yes. So if you're skillful, you're deft. And then you put the L inside it to get a Delft. Is that Dutch porcelain? All right. Oh, now our Shakespearean heroine. One failing to complete sea voyage. I do know there's a Titania. Is that in uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream? Let's check it. It is correct. Oh, so one failing to complete a sea voyage is the Titanic. Oh my goodness, too soon to make jokes about the Titanic, I feel. All right, uh, now our breach area in climbing in pursuit of that woman. Um... No, I'm not saying it. I'm going to reveal it. Hernia. Oh, my goodness. So um, I suppose a breach would be a hernia in a medical sense. In climbing is simply in climbing. Um, our breach area must be the definition. In climbing in pursuit of that woman i see the her of course at the start is that woman i'm just not sure how to get the oh it must be area in ah sorry so it's area in climbing in pursuit of is a little bit i suppose it means coming after uh, her all right i sort of see that 
appropriate to turn up before end of French colonial me meal. Um, no, I'm going to reveal that one. Tiffin. Oh, I think that was um, in India. The uh, British Empire would have their Tiffin. Let's see. Um, appropriate. Oh, appropriate is fit. And that turns up. And the end in French is fin, of course, F-I-N. Oh my goodness. All right. I think I only know Tiffin really as um, people would say when they had a small snack, they were going to have their Tiffin. But I do remember it had that colonial um, history. Now we, oh, the small force might be the F. Blocking a river in retreat. Well, there's the Nor, N-O-R-E, in Ireland. But I don't think it's going to be that, Irfan. What other? Oh, the Nile. Um, Elfin. Yes, I like that. All right, just one to go. Study exposed with English blokes in bondage to achieve climax. Ooh. Study could be den, maybe. English blokes in bondage. What's another word for a Climax, something is going to be ENT, could be EST. Uh, oh, um, no, mellow, something or other. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Denouement, ah, of course. So, den is the uh, study. I even said that and didn't think of denouement. Um, English blokes is simply E-M-E-N, and in bondage is just O-U-T. Oh, I think, um, I think study is dead, exposed is out which has the English blokes inside it, so there's no bondage word. It's just that's indicating you put the English man inside the word out. Oh, very complicated. All right, let's check all. Everything still seems to be there. Let's head over to 15 squared. All right, today's blog is by Eileen. Oh, it's more than six weeks since Panga Kupu. I was thinking I hadn't seen the name recently. Um, well, quite liked, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so, um, of course, Panga Kupu is the, I suppose, New Zealand setter and puts in some Maori word. Definitions are underlined. I think I finally understood most of them. Yes, sin is in carbonk. Uh, so the old pretendery, I wanted to understand that one. James Edward Stewart, son of James II, was known as the Old Pretender. Note for bedpan, warming pan. He died in exile in Italy, but I can't. Ah, so good old KVA. We've seen him before or her. Uh, cryptic definition referring to ski poles. The first being first. Yes, yeah, so I think I got that one. But uh, let's see, Transvaal I got, Apersu, Choirs, finally. Yeah, I got some of these. Very tricky. All right. Uh, Hariwa. Um, Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not so. Are they saying Harry was in the completed crossword? Uh, but here we go. KVA, Bowdler Eyes. It looks like a CAD as well. I don't know what that means. Blue pencil or sensor. Yeah. Um, pole position first, possibly, and then the yeah, atlas. I did read that. Anything to do with the King James Version, the rest. No, I'm not, uh, still not seeing the uh, Italy exile. Old Impressionist Version. Uh, here he was in a column of the grid, it means silver in Maori. Oh, and then there's some more um, Maori in there. Yeah, I need to look up what CAD stands for. If any of you know, please let me know. Yeah, I think exile in Italy is the definition, but... What am I missing on the old, the old pretender to mean? Yeah, I'm uh, a little bit confused on this. Old, historic, plus pretender is an impressionist version of... Yeah, I, I, I surely there must be more of it, but it seems a little bit loose otherwise. All right, well, that's, uh, that was a long one and uh, quite painful in places. I thank you for watching this far and have a wonderful day.